Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss about unit delay in MATLAB, okay, which is going to be a very, very important uh, topic in terms of understanding purpose in designing different filters in digital signal processing course, okay. So what is that? See, very based on a very simple concept, this uh, unit delay uh, is there, that is, if your input is x of n then you have to make such a block which provide unit delay and gives output as x of n minus 1 all right now what is the importance of this block what is its frequency response and how it affects in the input that's what i am going to discuss in my this video so if you uh, convert its equivalent model in z transformation we can say if input is x of z then uh, what will be block such that you are getting x of n minus 1 as you know that from the property or time shifting property that if x of n Fourier transformation uh, sorry z transformation is x of z then for x of n minus 1 it will be z to the power minus 1 x of z okay so basically this particular block is nothing but z to the power minus 1 or we can say for this particular unity delay system h of z or the transfer function of the uh, system is z inverse all right now, suppose you want to plot the frequency response in MATLAB, then obviously you need to know the numerator and denominator coefficients, so z to the power minus 1. So, uh, if you arrange the numerator coefficients in order, so basically as there is no constant, so we can assume like 0 plus z to the power minus 1 in the numerator and denominator is 1. So, numerator coefficients will be nothing but 0 and 1, okay, and denominator coefficients is nothing but 1, right? Write that like this you have to write otherwise MATLAB if you write simply write the coefficient of z to the power minus 1 is 1 and the coefficient of denominator is 1 then the MATLAB cannot understand for this for which purpose this one is there and for which purpose this one is there okay so you have to follow the particular order either you can follow this order that is z to the power n some constant into z to the power n plus some constant into z to the power n minus 1 plus some constant like that otherwise you can follow some constant plus some constant into z to the power minus 1 plus some constant into z to the power minus 2 like this okay there is one particular order you have to follow either increasing or decreasing uh, power of z which i already discussed in my previous video while discussing how to plot the frequency response for a given system okay so basically our numerator and denominator coefficients we achieved now based on this let us try to plot the frequency response that is uh, magnitude and phase plot of this particular system so that we can have an idea how it will affect our C input signals okay so see very simple the code let me show you uh, see here omega as uh, we are uh, going to plot in frequency response so i have taken omega variable which is from minus pi to pi already in my previous video i told you that it is continuous plot so incrementation is very small 0 0.01 and numerator coefficient denominator coefficient we have defined then we use inbuilt function frequency to plot the frequency response and subplot 2 comma 1 comma 1 where plot omega comma abs of h that is to plot the what the uh, magnitude part and this angle uh, of h is used to plot the phase part okay if you want you can write like this so x level sorry x level uh, frequency obviously x level is going to be frequency frequency and y level it is going to be magnitude and this is level sorry and you can give the title like this uh, okay no need to give title because already we are writing y level so just let me copy this control sorry uh, control c paste here control v and this will be phase part phase response here you can write magnitude response okay all right now control a evaluate selection see this is our plot see this is magnitude plot and this is phase plot with respect to frequency in the x-axis okay so what you can understand or what is the inference from this particular graph see the magnitude is always one okay so due to delay what will happen the magnitude will never change but the phase will 
carry or basically the phase is what this is what type of graph y is equal to minus x type graph it is following so basically we can say the phase response will follow uh, if the frequency increases then the phase will uh, phase change will more and more and how the phase will change as this is minus x okay so phase is decreasing so we can say the uh, output will lag okay so basically this is what we can infer that magnitude although magnitude will be constant but there is a lag in the output and as if the frequency increases the lag will increase that is phase due to delay what will happen the output will be lagged behind and the lagging will increase or phase lag will increase if frequency increases all right now let us this is what about our idea which we achieved okay fine but what is uh, whether this particular uh, system that is numerator coefficient as 0 and 1 and denominator coefficient as 1 whether it is giving us the same thing that is whether it, it is giving the amplitude same and with one delay let us try to understand that part okay so for that here i have written one small code so see n is equal to 0 colon 100 because uh, i am defining in time domain so time sample i have defined time sample range from 0 to 100 you can choose according to your choice then x equal to sine 2 into pi into 0 0.04 into n as i have already told you keep uh, the frequency for the sign signal whenever using in discrete domain lesser so that you can easily understand what is happening you can visualize the waveform then subplot 2 comma 1 comma 1 same n comma x we are plotting our waveform then n equal to numerator equal to 0 1 then, then equal to 1 that same system whatever we defined earlier then subplot 2 comma 1 comma 2 y equal to filter num comma 10 comma x as you know filter command we use to get the output basically you can use convolution code also no issue in that but simply we have used filter command okay now the plot the output same n comma y in this second uh, window okay let us check whether it is giving us unit delay without changing the amplitude or not because we have just seen that amplitude is never changing because amplitude the system for the system response the amplitude is one throughout different frequency ranges so let us check evaluate selection see this is our input waveform and this is this is our output waveform you just observe one thing that input is oscillating from minus one to one here comes the same thing for output also output is also from minus one to one only okay that is bounded in between minus one to one amplitude but the point to be noticed is that the output has one unit delay compared to input whether you are able to visualize or not see let me zoom it here here see this particular input you just observe this particular part here see here at one it is taking some value in between 0 0.3 and 0 0.2 and if you zoom this particular part what you can get see here at one you are getting basically zero okay at one you are getting no uh, that is no amplitude that is zero volt you are getting but see previously you were getting uh, at n equal to one you were getting some value but that value is now shifted at n equal to two see you are getting now in this part you are getting the value that is more than 0 0.2 somewhere close to 0 0.25 here also here what you are getting at n equal to 1 okay so basically uh, if i show you simply in the broad graph you just try to understand see here just after zero sample in when n equal to 1 it was there was a rise in the amplitude but here at n equal to 0 it is 0 also at n equal to 1 also it is 0 okay that is unit delay is happening then after that it is increasing okay so this is nothing but delayed version of the signal and we are able to achieve unit delay so one thing is clear from this graph that is whatever we have concluded from the system response that is applicable here what is that two conclusion we have drawn from the system response that is mod of h of um, that is magnitude of the transfer function was one throughout the range that is this particular system never affecting the amplitude value in the output and input right see here output and input amplitude value is not changing but what it is changing it is changing the phase 
it is making delayed version of the output okay and delayed version is nothing but phase lag see here this peak obviously there is a phase lag because at n equal to 1 in this is our input away from and for this particular input away from this first one uh, the first one is our input and for this at n equal to 1 it is taking some amplitude but at n equal to 1 for this output response is not taking amplitude from n equal to 2 it is start taking amplitude value which is not equal to zero that is greater than zero that is obviously some phase lag is there okay to understand in a more better way what we have done let me plot the graph in the same window so uh, till now we were in the discrete domain now let us go to continuous domain so that you can understand easily same program same code just what we have done we have plotted our signal okay so basically uh, let me do uh, okay so this is our frequency response plot sorry this is not the code this is the code see n equal to 0 colon 100 and x equal to sine 2 star pi star 0 0.04 into n same response we have taken but now this time we are plotting so plot n comma x hold on numerator denominator coefficient we have defined then y equal to filter num comma n comma x plot n comma y okay now let us check control a evaluate selection now you can observe the beauty whatever we have concluded from our system response that is magnitude and phase part that's what we can visualize here see our input waveform is this in uh, let me give the color then it will be more clear to you plot n comma y comma green let our output waveform be green in color so see our blue waveform is input and green waveform is our output can you conclude same thing yes our output and input is consisting of same amplitude that is amplitude is not hampering but our output is delayed version of input due to one unit delay and delay means what phase lag see the green color waveform has a phase lag compared to our input okay so this is what we can uh, have an idea from the system response and uh, when we pass our sign signal we are getting the same okay so this is what about unit delay block which is very very important in modeling different digital filters okay later you will come to know uh, different kinds of filter like iir filter or fir filter they are in designing purpose this is very very important this will help you a lot okay i hope you have understood this try to understand the unit delay block try to visualize try to understand how it is working uh, and what is the relation in between phase plot and magnitude plot to its practical implementation okay so this is all for my this video i will post each and every code in the description of my this video if you want you can check there thank you for watching